This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by HostGator. What do sports cars and smartphones have in common? What kind of bliss is HTC going to runny mead all over you on September 20th? Uh, that one was kind of a stretch, but you get the idea. And is the Razor back? The Razor might be back. I can't believe it. The Razor's back? It's the return of the Razor. I'm not talking about the WWF star Razor Ramon. I'm talking about the Motorola cell phone. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. What is going on everybody and welcome to Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup here on Revision 3. This is the roundup for the week ending today, Friday, September 16th, 2011. My name is Noah Kravitz and I have the good, good fortune of being editor at large for Techno Buffalo and your host for this week's look at the latest in tech world rumors. Happy fall everybody, autumn, is there another word for fall or autumn? I don't know, but Labor Day's passed. You can still wear your white pants. I don't really care. I'm just glad you're here. Let's get right to it. First up, what do Porsche, Porsche and smartphones have in common? Apparently, something. RIM just introduced a whole bunch of Blackberries. The Bold, two torches, there are rumors about another Bold coming, then there's the Colt coming next year, all this stuff. And then we get this, uh, this leak, this picture of a Blackberry that looks like no other Blackberry. It's a metallic looking Blackberry with very, you know, very modern, but to me very sort of retro angular buttons, a different look. It's kind of like a bold, if, I don't know, an automaton robot from the high fashion future designed it. Codenamed the R47, also codenamed the Knight. There's a picture of it on Techno Buffalo. I bet John Key is going to load up a picture of it right now so you can see what I'm talking about. Anyway. The latest rumors about this phone have it sourced to Porsche. Apparently Porsche was involved, or reportedly, purportedly Porsche, involved in the design of the BlackBerry Knight, aka the R47, which might be a concept phone, or might actually be a limited edition run uh, to go with BlackBerry's latest line of BBOS 7 powered smartphones. At any rate, this BlackBerry looks like no other. It's very, uh, it's very silver. It's very metallic. The buttons are very angular. It's a little bit polarizing. I don't know. Are you into it? Look at the pictures. I don't know. At any rate, there's no official word on if this thing even exists, although obviously it does, or if Porsche was officially involved in the design of it, or if it's going to come out. If it does come out, our best bet is it's a limited edition run. It's going to cost a pretty penny and uh, it'll do zero to text messaging in somewhere around 3.8 seconds. Not quite as fast as a 911 GT3 RS, but a little bit faster than a torch. HTC is throwing a party and we're invited. And if we're invited, that means you're invited, even though you probably can't make it to New York, but we'll cover it for you. Tuesday, September 20th in New York City, HTC's throwing a shindig. If you recall, they threw a shindig in London back on September 1st. We were there, Killian was there. They introduced their two new Windows Phone 7 Mango phones. This shindig looks to be all about Android, except it might be about Windows Phone. Nobody's really sure. HTC sent out invites. The invites have to do with style, have to do with high fashion, makes everybody think they're gonna introduce the phone that's been codenamed the Bliss, which, you know, if you want to use these kind of words, and I don't, I'm just reporting what other people have said, it's a chick phone. I don't know what chick phone means. All I know is that apparently the new VW Beetle is less of a chick car and more of a guy car. I, whatever. They're introducing a phone, codenamed the Bliss, Android, 3.7 inch display, dual cameras, HSPA+, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all that good stuff, 720p video capture, 5 megapixel camera on the main camera, and then a front facing camera for video chats, all that stuff. But then here's the kicker that makes everybody say chick phone. I'm gonna use these air quotes as much as I can. Apparently included in the box, according to leaked spec sheets, is a charm indicator. So this is some kind of a light up, you thing of a bob, a bauble, whatever a bauble is. Actually, I know what a bauble is. A bauble that, you know, apparently can like hang out of your pocket or hang out of your purse or I don't know, hang out of your football helmet. Because who's to say that a football player, guy or a girl, couldn't use this thing? But it's a thing that hangs out externally from the phone and lights up to let you know when you've got a call coming in. Or I would imagine, you know, maybe a new email or text message or Facebook update or, uh, you know, chick status alert, whatever. Anyway, HTC expected to unveil the Bliss at their shindig in New York on Tuesday, September 20th, and they might also introduce 
any one of a number of new phones kicking around the rumor mill, the most likely is what's been called the Runnymede. Now, the Runnymede has been said to be basically an Android-powered version of the Windows Phone 7-powered Titan that was recently released over at that party in London. This thing, if it's true, is going to have a 4.7-inch display, although it's just WVGA, so 800 at 480 stretch across 4.7 inches. We'll have to see how that pans out. It's going to have a ton of internal storage, going to run window, uh, run Android, rather. I'm getting confused already. But the big kicker here is that the Runnymede is said to include incorporate Beats technology and may also ship with Beats headphones in the box. Now, there may be multiple SKUs of the Runnymede, whatever it's called, it's not going to be called Runnymede, but that's the code name. And some will include the Beats headphones, some won't. But as you know, HTC entered into a partnership, they purchased 51% of Beats audio for $300 million, so they got to start kicking out some Beats, right? So stay tuned, it's just a couple days away from now. Tuesday, September 20th in New York City, HTC unveiling something. My money's on Bliss and probably on Runnymede as well, destined for the US market. HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in just minutes, with plans starting at just $3.96 per month, that's less than $4. $3.96 per month, you'll get 24-7 support access and website building tools including over 4,000 templates. HostGator can also migrate your current site for free. HostGator servers are 130% powered by wind energy. That's more than 100%. They also offer unlimited disk and backup space, a 45-day money-back guarantee, and $100 in complimentary Google AdWords credit to market your site when you sign up. For Revision 3 viewers, HostGator is offering 25% off of your first order or your first month free. Just use the code TECHNOBUFFALO, T-E-C-H-N-O-B-U-F-F-A-L-O, -F -F you know how to spell it, TECHNOBUFFALO, when you sign up at HostGator.com, www.HostGator.com. And last, but certainly not least, the Razer might be making a comeback. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, long, long ago, but really not that far or that long ago, there was no iPhone, there was no Android. Razors ruled the roost. Seriously, way back when, before smartphones became mainstream and the whole iOS Android fanboy war thing was just a twinkle in an engineer's eye somewhere in Silicon Valley, the Motorola Razor was king of the cell phone world, at least in the United States, but really, it was king. The Razor was hot. I personally never had one. I immediately made the leap from a very basic Nokia to a Japanese import Sony Walkman phone that like barely got reception, but if I plugged nine dongles into it, I could listen to Big Country on my earphones. But pretty much everybody else had a Razer. Well, the brand name is still iconic and it might be making a comeback. Apparently, there was a photo posted on the internet and the EXIF data, the EXIF data that identifies what kind of a camera took the photo, you know, the f-stop and the aperture and the resolution, all that metadata associated with the photo, the EXIF data said this was taken by a Motorola Droid Razor. Now, that sort of data can be faked. It's faked all the time. There have been reports of uh, the new iPhone 5, photos from the iPhone 5 with EXIF data. Nobody knows if they're real or not. It can be faked. That being said, it's rumor roundup. This is kind of a fun rumor. Droid Razor would make a lot of sense from a marketing perspective. Razor was a big deal. Google just bought Motorola. Why not resurrect the brand name? Google's never frankly been all that good at marketing stuff to a mainstream audience. So now that they have a cell phone company in-house, and it might be a little premature for this, but you know, it just, it makes a lot of sense even without Google, it makes a lot of sense to resurrect the Droid, the uh, Razer name rather, and throw out an Android phone that's slim, that's about style. I would guess it's gonna be kind of a mid-range phone. It's not gonna compete with the Droid Bionic or something like that. Maybe it's a flip phone, maybe it's a candy bar, who knows? Droid Razor, it's kind of got a good name to it, good ring to it. And like I said, you know, it's a piece of cell phone history, a piece of consumer history. I don't know, I like it, but I'm getting a little old and gray. Well, if I had hair, I got a little bit of hair on the side there, it'd be getting a little gray. Anyway, stay tuned for more on this. What if they rocked like the first ice cream sandwich phone was the Droid Razor? That's not gonna happen, that'd be kinda cool. Stay tuned for more on this over on Techno Buffalo, but chalk it up to just a fun rumor for now. All right, that's all the time we have for the roundup this week. Uh, again, next Tuesday, September 20th, whatever HTC unveils in New York, we will bring you the details as soon as they're hot off the presses. Bliss, Runnymede, 
Beats, I don't know. 50 Cent apparently has his own headphone line now. Everybody's getting a headphone line. Somebody on Twitter told me I should get a headphone line. I think they're going to be called Krabby Cans. That's a terrible name. We'll come up with something better. Till next time, thanks again to our friends at HostGator for sponsoring this episode of the show. As always, thanks to Revision 3 for having us. Thanks to you for watching us. And uh, stay tuned. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Revision 3, Techno Buffalo, three times a week. It's nice how that works out. Three and three. John Rettinger, John Quatch, and the guy without hair or a first name of John, who they let be on the show, yours truly. Till next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.